Hello everybody and welcome to Toddler Storytime. My name is Sam and I am joining you from the Children's Library at the Central Denver Public Library location today and I've brought with me a brand new board book that I think is excellent. I'm so excited to share with you but before we do that like we always do in story time we are going to sing our hello song and if you've joined me for Toddler Storytime before you might know this hello song already. For this one, we're gonna use our hands to wave hello, just like we're waving hello to a friend. Can you show me how you wave hello? Very nice, everybody. For this one, we're gonna wave our hands to the beat and we're gonna sing as we wave. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Nicely done, friends. And if you were paying attention, you may have noticed that we asked a question. We asked, how are you today? Huh, I wonder how you're feeling today. Should we take a moment and check in? For me, I'm going to take a moment, close my eyes, take a couple deep breaths, and see how my body's feeling. Please feel free to join me. So I'm gonna sit up nice and straight and close my eyes, and I'll take a nice deep breath in and I'll blow it out my mouth. And I'll do it one more time. Nice, big, deep breath in through your nose like you're sniffing a flower. And blow it out like you're blowing out a candle. And with these nice, calming, deep breaths, I can start to notice how my body feels. And I notice that I feel a little tense today. My shoulders want to be up here, but I want to relax my body. So maybe I'm feeling a little anxious, a little antsy today. I wonder how you're feeling. If you're with your grown up, you could turn to them and tell them how you're feeling today. And if you're feeling extra super nice, you could ask your grown up how they're feeling too, because grown ups have feelings as well, just like me. Well done, everybody. To wrap up our hello song, we're gonna take those hands and we're gonna give them a clap. And we'll clap along to the beat and sing. Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands today. Excellent work, everybody. Now that we have said hello, we've checked in with our bodies to see how we're feeling. It is time for us to read our book today. Again, I mentioned this is a brand new board book. I'm super excited about this one. It's called My Hair is Like Yours. And this one's by St. Clair Detrick Jules with illustrations by Tabitha Brown. And I have a feeling this book is gonna be all about hair. On the cover, I see some long, beautiful locks here and some locks that are growing long, but they're not quite there yet, huh? What other hair can you see? Maybe you can see my hair. What does my hair look like? My hair is blue, isn't it? And it's short, maybe a little, little bit curly. I wonder what your hair looks like. Hmm, maybe you should take a look in the mirror and see. Maybe you and your grown up can take a look and talk about what your hair looks like. And while you think about that, let's go ahead and read our story together. Let's see. Oh, on the first page here, I see two sweet friends. It says, my hair is like my friends, picked out into a fro. Would you look at that? These two little ones have their hair picked out into a nice fro. Very cool. Oh, my hair is like my twins, tied in a bun just so. Not only do they have matching buns, but they also have matching earrings and matching dresses. These two really look like twins, don't they? My hair is like my cousin's, cornrowed with a perfect part. Oh. Delightful. They do have two perfect parts right down the middle of their cornrows, don't they? And those cornrows are tied into nice sweet buns. My hair is like my mommy's, twisted into a work of art. 
I can't believe how many beautiful fine braids there are in this updo. I'll bring it nice and close to the camera so that you can see a little clearer. Wow, that is a beautiful hairstyle. My hair is like my siblings, curly and bouncing with glee. And just like their hair is bouncing with glee, I see two gleeful smiles on the page as well. Oh, this picture reminds me of my, our friends on the cover, huh? My hair is like my uncle's, long and locked and free. I can't believe how long those locks are, especially when I look at my own hair that's so short. Do you have long hair or short hair? Hmm. My hair is like my sister's, plaited into a beautiful braid. And this braid is sitting on their head, almost like a crown. I wonder if you've ever braided your hair before. My hair is like my daddy's, cut short with a nice new fade. So a few pages ago, we saw really long hair. And on this page, we see really short hair. All kinds of ways to grow your hair. My hair is like my auntie's brushed back into a puff. And I see some cute little beaded braids too. Those are nice. No matter the style, I always remember that I am more than enough. Oh my goodness, and there's a little surprise at the end. If you check this book out for yourself, you can take a look in the mirror. Maybe you can see me in the mirror a little bit. I can see my own blue hair. I wonder what you'll see when you look in the mirror. A little peekaboo for you at the end of the book here. The end. Wonderful reading, friends. Thank you so much for exploring this book with me. And grownups, if you're with me, something that I really appreciate about this book is that it pays attention to a specific racial characteristic in a really positive and non-stigmatizing way, right? So this is a book that celebrates black hair. And what we know about childhood development is that little ones as young as six months, and some studies show even younger, can notice and recognize racial differences. So it is never too early for us to start talking about race with kids because they will naturally notice race. And the more that we can have candid conversations about race with children, the more that we can remove that stigma from the conversations that kind of exist in our world right now and help our little ones build a positive view of diversity. And it doesn't matter if this is a book where you could see yourself or your child in the images or a book where you can't. So for me, the people in this book don't look like me, but a benefit I can get from reading is that I'm learning lots of new vocabulary about hair that, it, that isn't like mine, right? I'm learning about different styles. I'm learning about different cultural practices. And I'm learning this in a very positive way. If this is a book where you can see yourself reflected, then you get to maybe see your own hairstyle on a page. And that's so exciting to see yourself reflected in a book um, and be celebrated in this way. So regardless of who's reading this book, there's plenty of benefits to be drawn from it. And in the spirit of our little peekaboo mirror at the end of the book, I did bring a scarf with me today. Friends, we are going to wrap up our story time with a little peekaboo. And again, I have got a scarf here. You don't need a scarf for peekaboo. You could grab a dish towel or a blanket or whatever piece of fabric is closest to you. It could even be a couch pillow. And you can hold it in front of your face or your little one's face. And we'll sing our peekaboo song that goes like this. Peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo. Nice job, everybody. That's such a fun song. Should we do it one more time? always good to repeat our songs so that we can get the rhymes in our head, have new movement experiences, and strengthen all of those connections that we build in our brains during story time. So let's do that one one more time. We'll sing. peek a -boo, peek a -boo, I see you, I see you, 
I see your button nose. I see your tiny toes. Peek-a-boo. 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 Wonderful, everybody. Well, I had so much fun reading with you and chatting with you and playing a little peekaboo with you. And we have made it to the end of our story time today, folks. So like we always do before we wrap up, we're gonna sing our goodbye song. And for this one, just like our hello song, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna wave them just like we're waving goodbye to a friend. And this song is super simple. If you've joined me before, you'll know it. It's called Goodbye, My Friends, Goodbye. Those are the only words and it goes like this. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. I hope you learned lots and had so much fun. And I hope the rest of your day is filled with books and reading and all kinds of joy. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.